What's up guys, it's David here from bonebuff.com and in this video I'm doing a speed comparison test between the Qualcomm Snapdragon S3 processor found on the Samsung Galaxy Note from AT&T and the Qualcomm Snapdragon S4 processor, their latest processor, found on T-Mobile's HTC One S. So I'm just basically going to open up uh, two apps to see which one opens up on each phone first and also I'm going to run two benchmark tests being Quadrant Standard and Attune 2. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and do the first test which is opening up Flickster on each phone. So I'm going to try to tap them at the same time. Before I do that, I want to show you that they are closed on both phones in the background and both phones are on the same Wi-Fi network. So we're getting as even of a test as we could get for right now. So with that said, I'll go ahead and open them both up at the same time. So one, two, three. And uh, it's pretty close. I mean, this is a fairly small lap, so both of them are able to open up at the same time. Um, I'm going to go ahead and hit skip really quick. And again, they're pretty close. Um, really hard to tell the difference. Let's see if we could uh, open up a, let's say a video from each one. So I'll open up Battleship on each one. And then we'll hit play trailer. So play trailer. And let's see which one starts playing first. So it actually started playing first on the Samsung Galaxy Note with the S3 processor. Of course, we expect the S4 processor uh, to beat out the S3 processor. But yet in that test, looks like the... Galaxy Note with the S3 is a little bit faster. Let's go ahead and open up another movie. So we'll do uh, Dictator really quick and then hit play trailer. And again, two for two. So it definitely is a little bit faster on the S3. Now that might be because of TouchWiz's uh, optimizations to the OS compared to HTC Sense. Um, they're not stock Android, so it's kind of hard to test for that. But we'll go ahead and open up the next app and uh, that is Score Center. So one, two, three. In this app, clearly the HTC One S with the Snapdragon S4 processor definitely opened up a lot faster than it did on the Galaxy Note. So that's expected and the difference is so large that I'm not going to go ahead and test it again. Well, let's go ahead and do the benchmarks now. So I'm just going to go ahead and close out those two apps. And we'll close out those two apps on here. I accidentally opened up the camera. Alright, so let's go ahead and run the uh, Quadrant benchmark. So we'll do Quadrant at the same time. And I'll go ahead and run the test. I'll pause the video really quick uh, while it's doing its thing. And as soon as it's done, I will unpause. So I'm going to go ahead and press this. And again, I'll just unpause it as soon as it's done. All right, so both benchmarks are done. I'll go ahead and hit yes on each device and see what they scored. So right here, you have the Samsung Galaxy Note. And you can see it scored a 3212, which is a pretty good score. I mean, it's actually one of the highest scores I've gotten on this device. And here on the HTC One S with the Snapdragon S4, it's a 4710. So obviously, just by this benchmark alone, you could kind of get the idea that the S4 is a lot faster than the S3, as expected. Um, I'm going to go ahead and hit home out of these guys. And now I'm going to open up the next benchmark, which is Entuntu. So we'll go ahead and open this guy up. And again, I'll run the test and uh, I'll pause the video and unpause it as soon as it's done. So hit close on this guy, we'll go straight to the test and we'll hit start and again I'll go ahead and pause it and come right back to it as soon as it's done alright so both tests are done and as you can see the Galaxy Note with the S3 scored a 6468 and the Snapdragon S4 on the One S scored a 7081. So uh, again, the One S with the Snapdragon S4 as expected wins. Um, just if you're curious, the S4 was averaging 60 frames per second during the graphics test where the S3 was getting about 57 and uh, that may have accounted uh, for some of the difference here. But overall, I mean, as you can see, uh, you know, other than the Quadrant benchmark, the two phones or the two processors are pretty close. Um, when it comes to applications and, uh, you know, flipping in and out of them, there isn't too big of a difference. However, I'm sure, you know, with more intensive, graphics intensive applications, it's going to make a, a bigger difference with, you know, this having the Adreno 225 GPU versus the Adreno 220. Again, both of them are clocked at 1.5 gigahertz. So, um, you know, overall, I have to say that, you know, it doesn't really, it's not that big of a difference. I mean, because the reason why I was doing this video in the first place is, I was really hoping that the at t version of the Galaxy Note was going to get at least the Snapdragon S4 since it wasn't getting the Echinos. But overall, I mean, that 
S3 is fast enough on the Galaxy Note for me. Um, it, you know, I did a speed test comparison with the uh, the Galaxy Nexus and it did beat it out just like this guy did. So they're both really fast, obviously going to give the edge to the 1S. Um, and you know, it's one of the fastest processors out right now other than the new uh, Snapdragon, or I'm sorry, the Echinos 4 Quad, which as soon as I get that, I'll do a test and let you guys uh, see the difference there. But anyway, that's it for me in this video. Hopefully it you know, gives you a better idea as far as the difference between the two processors. If you found it helpful, hit the like button and subscribe. And don't forget to visit phonebuff.com for more cell phone news, reviews, and how-tos. Thank you.